How the hell did Facebook disable my active ad account? I have done absolutely nothing wrong. If these are the questions you ask, in this video, I'll be showing you exactly what to do and how to re-enable and activate your ad account back. So, it's not all the time that your ad account get disabled that is as a result of what you've done wrong. Sometimes, it's Facebook way of actually being conscious of your security. So, on this particular day, I noticed my active ad account was disabled and I was like, oh my god. I decided to click on see details to know exactly what happened, where I've heard because I noticed that before now, the ad account was active i was not running any ad that go against any of facebook policy now look look at what they said you are not allowed to advertise or manage assets on your business accounts because you don't use two-factor authentication so if you should notice facebook at this point is trying to help you manage your own security because using two-factor authentication increases or gives your ad account another higher level of security that you need so you actually need to set up two-factor authentication before your ad account can be reactivated and voila you are good to go so if your ad account gets restricted or disabled also try and ensure that your two-factor authentication has been enabled so clicking on secure your account so it opens to a new page where it will direct us on what to do. Help protect your account. If we notice an attempt, attempted login from a device or browser we don't recognize, we'll ask for your password and a verification code. So we have different methods to authenticate. So we have the authentication app and we have text message. So I opted in for the authentication app and it opens. So the authentication app, you can actually use your phone to scan that code or copy down that um, the code to your app okay so if you have google authenticator or the authy app so you can actually use any of these two so using the two-factor authentication is a way of increasing the security like we've mentioned earlier so what it means is if you need to make any important change be it change of password be it adding a new admin you actually need to verify that particular action at that particular time it says set up third party authenticator so please use your authentication app such as do or google authentication to scan this qr code or enter this code into your authentication app all right so it's easier for me to scan the code so after scanning the code i click on continue six digits code will be sent to the authentication app so which is what i will enter okay so i'll have to set up my authentication app and anytime i want to make any important change i'll have to enter the six digit authentication code it changes every few seconds so it's not something that you just have to copy down so it's also advisable to back up your authentication keys and password all right so two-factor authentication is on we'll ask for a code if we notice an attempted login from an unrecognized device or browser all right so this is actually facebook way of keeping you safe so it's something that is very very good and recommended all right so if facebook keeps on giving you the notification okay uh, activate your two-factor authentication so nobody will do that but if they notice that okay us restricting their ad account us limiting their advertising access will make them take action i guess that was what uh, brought up the issue of restriction of ad accounts and it worked because normally i myself seen uh, something like this i'll easily bounce over you know all right 
so two-factor authentication is on all right so it we have turned it on now so we have other backup method like text message security key and using recovery codes all right so once you've turned on two-factor authentication so notice what happens when we refresh our page okay so the magic is going to happen now you didn't send facebook any message you just did what they asked you to do okay take a simple step take a simple action voila wow our ad account is back and we are back in business okay so not all times that your ad account is disabled uh, requires you to uh, start crying and uh, whining and wailing okay sometimes it requires you to take simple actions as this and it is for your own good okay did you hear that it is for your own good all right when we refresh now we notice that we are back and we are back for good okay is your facebook ad account disabled permanently so that you you cannot run ads you cannot create new ads you can't do nothing all right i'm going to introduce you to social empire okay see the link in the description box below it will help you to create new facebook accounts create new business managers okay see you on the next one my name remains Onuzurike Chukwu Agozi. I keep on bringing value to you. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep on getting value. See you on the next one. Bosai.